Okay, pick and challenge for the champion stage. Navi Vitality. I would go with Navi because they just look like a way, way, way better team than Vitality. If Vitality will upset Navi, that will be absolutely matchup for the final uh, because it would mean that Vitality in just a couple of days between Legends and Champion stage have improved so much that they actually could beat Navi. Props to them, I guess. Then I want to go to Heroic VP game. I actually feel like Heroic have a better map pool against VP because VP bans Nuke. Okay, Nuke is a sort of 50-50 map for uh, Heroic anyway. But then they can play Dust2, they can play Inferno, they can play Overpass. They're not shy away of playing Ancient. And uh, VP kind of have Vertigo, basically. The rest maps you can see like 63 60 percent it's uh, sort of sort of 50 50 almost and we could actually see something like inferno to be decided or maybe heroic will will pick dust 2 or overpass something like that so i actually feel like um despite uh, sort of vp being sort of this clutch team i guess something like that uh, or at least a like grinding team, not clutch team. I would say they're grinding team because of their slow play style and stuff like that. I feel like heroic, especially because of the hype, because of the hype aspect, how Kadian plays, how much hype he brings into the team, how Stown reacts to him. Tessis is playing well as well. I feel like in the key, in a few like key rounds where you should have went for three v four, for example. Where VP will save, Heroic will just go and win and deliver. I feel like Heroic also has a little bit better players. Kadian is no slouch on, on AWP. On VP, one standout player is Yikinder. Jame has a good sort of stat on his AWP. Pretty good actually according to HLTV, but it's mostly save kills. Or at least like half of those kills probably are save kills where he's saving the gun. So it's not super impressive if you actually look at the game. Uh, so I'll actually take Heroic here. G2 and AP. G2 in the past like three months looked like shit. And AP in this tournament looked like shit. So it's a 50-50 game, totally 50-50. And, and I feel like Rez was absent in Legend stage mostly. Plopsky was so-so. Um, LNZ new guy, he was bottom fragging most of the time. So, actually, I feel like G2 will take it. And here where we come to Gambit versus Furia matchup. Um, it's not, a, not, not an easy one by any means, because I feel like Gambit, because they ban Nuke, which is a very strong team for Furia, right? It opens up a lot of possibilities for Overpass, for Dust 2, for Vertigo, even Mirage, or even Ancient for that matter, all can be in a map pool because I'm I'm guessing Inferno they will ban as well because Inferno is same as strong team for Furia. Um, so I feel like map wise, map wise, Gambit should have advantage here. I'm not sure if that will be the case because Furia plays so like in your face kind of style of CS:GO that they can totally surprise Gambit. And uh, because it is on a big stage, right, you need to remember these matches are finally on a big stage. I feel like Fury can totally sort of feed from the energy from the crowd um, and sort of ride on that wave of hype because they are at the champion stage. That's no, that's no like small task, small uh, accomplishment, you know. Um, but at the same time, I feel like Gambit is a bit better team, and obviously Shira is a way better like sniper on op, um, on op. So I am actually I want to pick Fury here. I really want to pick Fury here, but because of the matchup, because of the maps that Gambit is operating with, I probably feel like Gambit should overcome Fury. But I just want to make it clear that it is. I'm actually, I'm 55% for Fury, but because of the matchup, because of the maps that Gambit can can actually pick, I will pick Gambit. So I'm not going with my guts here, as I'm going like here and here, for example, uh, on G2 and AP and Heroic VP. And I'm going from the, based on the stats here. And I feel like Gambit from the stats should be 
Fury. But at the same time, Fury has been on a big stage. Gambit has never been on on such a big stage or any big stage. Really, they they race to the top on the in the online era, basically. So I feel like this could be really big advantage to Fury. And so if Fury beats Gambit, props to them. It's going to be amazing. You know what I mean? And I'm, like I'm saying, I would put 55% here on Fury, not Gambit. And I'm only going with Gambit because I feel like the map pool is a bit better and the sniper is a bit better. But I will pick Navi. I know the Gambit is a little bit of a kryptonite, but Navi looked incredible in this tournament incredible they're just cruising they're not even breaking a sweat to be honest here people actually pick i've seen some people pick heroic here in g2 and actually people pick g2 and you know what i'm really not sure about that once again i've seen g2 crumble under the pressure where things go wrong next i start making shitty calls and the whole team sort of looks in shambles completely while heroic on the other hand i've seen I've never really seen them like being blown out of the server. I've seen them clutch. I've seen them um, struggle a bit, but come back. And they have really clutch players, just like mentality-wise. I feel like mentality-wise, I feel like mentality-wise, Fury is stronger than Gambit. So actually, I'm really, I'm re I really want to pick Fury here, but I'm just gonna go with Gambit because I kind of feel like Navi will beat any of those. <laughs> Um, and and here I feel like heroic mentality wise is stronger than G2, especially because how shitty G2 looked um, in the past three months. But it doesn't matter for me either because I feel like over G2 or NAP, I feel like heroic will beat any of those teams. I know people feel like that it's going to be VP here all the way. I think it's going to be heroic here all the way. And I think, and I think if heroic and Atos wins are playing. And we've seen them playing pretty pretty close matches because again, like Heroic has really strong mentality, and Kadian with his um, with his sort of emotional, but in a good way, emotional sort of energetic play style, and how he sort of boosts his team uh, team's morale. I think it it could be a really really amazing match, or it can just go two zero for now. <laughs> Um, like I think they did in the legend stage so yeah it's my I've already selected Navi before and it is my pick that Navi will go through and if they lose this is the problem of Navi then then it means that they still didn't fix some problems with their mentality because people wise sort of what kind of a teammates they have right now on the team they are stronger than anybody in this in the stage not even close, I think. So if Navi lose this major, it's absolutely totally because they crumbled under the pressure, maybe under their own pressure, something like that. I don't know. They felt confident. They felt and looked like they know what they're doing and that they are confident in themselves, finally. And um, I feel like it's going to be Navi and I think it's going to be Simple's first major win. And that would be amazing. But these are my picks. Let me know, guys, what do you think about it and what are your picks. And uh, see you in the next one. Take care and bye-bye.